Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Keigo Moriyama Photography and today we are here in Yoyogi Park to test again the Polaroid land camera 120 uh, I made some modification as I explained in the previous video and I finally uh, 3D printed the uh, cover I want to show you here in order to try to reduce uh, any kind of uh, uh, possible leak on the uh, inside the camera itself uh, so let's put the film and uh, this time I will have with me roll of uh, uh, Fujifilm Pro 160 and S here it is and uh, I will then uh, develop uh, in the shop so I will not do at home uh, because I'm pretty sure that this time uh, the result should be a uh, good one so uh, let's put the film inside and then let's go to take the picture okay so let's open the camera and again we have here this uh, uh, adapter and I made uh, uh, one uh, definitely shorter in order to uh, facilitate uh, the film to roll out so let's open it and let's put the adapter close this part and now we have to advance till we find uh, the uh, film coming out okay here we are so the film appears so we are going to lift this tape okay, remove it uh, after that uh, no, you don't need it so I just put here so I'm doing a collection of this and then because now uh, the film is here I can put uh, this one in order to cover okay and then I close the camera here I close it and we are ready to shoot. Okay guys, so let me step in uh, a moment because uh, I went to uh, pick up uh, the film from the uh, shop and uh, unfortunately even if I had uh, recorded the old video that uh, you were watching and uh, a proper ending, uh, unfortunately the results of the film uh, was not that uh, uh, perfect because uh, uh, I hope you can see, uh, I have a couple of uh, a good frame uh, even if it seems uh, there is some kind of dirtiness as you have seen inside uh, uh, during the video so I got one two three four and then the results were not good it's kind of empty 
even if uh, since there is a little bit of image on uh, on that so i have to figure out uh, uh, what's the reason of this uh, problem why even if uh, uh, the film itself came out smoothly uh, but i was not able to have the proper uh, pictures uh, in the uh, taken on the film uh, okay so unfortunately that's a uh, experiment so we learn uh, uh, little by little again it seems that uh, in terms of uh, way to um, remove the film advance the film uh, the new uh, adapter are working properly and uh, compare with the first film that I took uh, also the uh, cover that the 3d printed um, seems is reducing the uh, amount of leak that the camera had before uh, another things that I will probably try to uh, to do and I think that is the one of the reason why some of the frames are not coming up is that when the film is going to uh, roll uh, inside the, the left part of the, uh, the camera the one that now uh, I'm covering with the uh, 3d printer cover that I made uh, as I said more than once uh, seems that the films cannot advance properly so I want to try to see if I can make uh, uh, like a spool uh, that probably can try to facilitate uh, the uh, advancement of the uh, film uh, itself so probably I will try to put uh, some tape on the film and the uh, the new spool and see how I can uh, try to facilitate the uh, rotation of the uh, spool uh, itself inside the left part of the camera without doing any kind of uh, uh, holes in the camera itself okay that's all for me uh, thank you very much for keep following this uh, project of trying to uh, make the Polaroid 120 land camera uh, usable again and uh, till next time as usual stay click bye